of me what pleases you. Here I am. Here I am, Lord. I will begin reading a couple of quick scriptures, and then I'll give you my title. 1 Timothy 4 and 1 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the later times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And we're going to go down to 4 and 16, and it says, Take heed unto thyself, and unto the doctrine continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Yes. And if I were to give you a title today, my title would be, Are You Really Ready to Lead? Are you teaching with your life to the fullest or through emotions and entertainment? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Are you having a sanctuary full of members because you're doing some worldly things just to get the sanctuary full? Or are you teaching with sound doctrine? Right. The Spirit makes it clear that as time goes on, some are going to give up on the faith and chase after demonic illusions put forth by professional liars. These liars have lived so well and lied for so long that they've lost their capacity for the truth. Right. They will tell you not to get married, that it's okay to shack or to live together. Your heart is in the right place. And that God loves everyone, including the gay marriages. Hmm. They will say that they will say they cannot help it. They have been through so many hurts for so long, and God understands all. He's not like us, man. So please don't judge. They will say, oh, they're trying to get married. Stay out of their business. Their day is coming. Stop acting like you're so perfect and so full of God's Holy Ghost. God understands. He is a God of love. Their words will sound like peace and love, but will not hold a bit of the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ. Over in Galatians 5 and 7 through 8, it says, Ye did run well. Who did hinder you? That ye should not obey the truth. This persuasion cometh not of him that called you. What in the world has happened to our leaders, our churches? What has happened? You may be saying, this word isn't for me. It has nothing to do with me. But oh, yes, it does. You are at a mandate by the Holy Ghost to be 100 for Christ and go out into the world and teach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Get back on track. You still have time. The anointing is here. It's at the altar. God is here in this sanctuary. The anointing destroys the yoke. And the anointing is here today. So get back on track, leaders. You've been raised in the church. You heard the message of faith. You followed sound teaching. You now have the permission to pass it on to the members in the church because you are now licensed. You have been born again. You have been saved and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Don't get all dressed up like all these other religions and just be religious. Do what Christ has called you to do and not men. Do not mix your do not mix your testimony with R&B right. and the things of this world to gain popularity. Right. Ministry. Ministry is your calling. You want to gain the kingdom of the Most High, which owes your crown and glory. Yeah. 